I want to make this clear. I was just asked a question. I see what's still going on with you and 50 Cent. You mean you won't do no business with 50 Cent? I would. 50 Cent, I see you raising money for your film ideas. You asked a close friend of mine. I saw the renderings, the drawings of what you believe your studio could be like in Shreveport. I'm going to give you a once in a lifetime opportunity to come sit down at the table and present your ideas. I won't make you any promises. Men of business don't discuss the past. It's new money, I'll consider it. You know where I'm at financially. I could change your life. Cheers. Yo, man, some stuff could be real deceiving. So I know people is trying to make it seem like Rick Ross is um, <laughs> trying to present an opportunity to 50 Cent, but from what I see in this clip, he's trolling as usual. Um, and look, he's trying to do something with that mansion. I know if I'm not mistaken, Amazon Prime, when they did come into America, the sequel, they filmed that in Rick Ross's mansion. And 50's got this new G-Unit film studio down in Streetsport. They got the concert uh, coming up in August. That was that footage of him and Keith Sweat and Earthquake, they was promoting that. So Ross is acting like he wants to do business with Fifth after all of the 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 back and forth that they had because just a few weeks ago everyone was clowning Ross. I mean Ross got beat up in Canada. Uh, now he's coming across humble. He's the the beard's looking like straight Velcro, right? The soft side of Velcro at that. He you know he's promoting just going through his story is like following a teenage girl. He's got like you ever see somebody's story on social media and it's got all those dots and you're like yo I'm not watching all of this. That's what this was like. Yeah, I mean, story, just him plugging all of these endorsements. But, uh, yeah, this is a big nothing burger to me, man. 50's not doing business with this guy. I, why would he? And he's like, but, but present me some ideas. Like, what? Present you? 50 supposed to come there with a bullet a bullet board uh, PowerPoint presentation? Like, get out of here. <laughs> present you ideas. This man is 10 years deep in just a TV series alone. Why he got the and then Ross continues to like act like he's got like he's the bigger boss, you know what I mean? In his mind, he's the bigger uh, entrepreneur, he's the bigger boss, he's got the most money. He and it's like you anyone could Google anyone's net worth if they want to in five seconds if you want to just realize what the difference of what money is. But he wants to act like he's the big homie and the way he's talking. He's talking, but you got to just listen to the words that he uses. That's how you know he's like trying to downplay him. He's trying to sun him. So uh, yeah, he's he's he ain't got nothing else to do. He bored in that mansion. He humble. You know what I mean? Music can't save Rick Ross no more. He used to be able to get away with a lot of stuff because he could drop a dope album and the production was a one, and everyone would forget all about his corniness. You can't really save them no more. I mean, how many times can you sit online and just promote wing stopping? You know, bottles all day. Like, you know what I mean, he don't got nothing else. You know what I mean? But yeah, he that's this is what he has to do now to stay relevant. He became the internet guy after years of uh, trolling Fifty about being an internet comedian and all of the, the stuff they had going on. Now he's the guy who's online making jokes, trying to stay relevant when he's not getting beat up in concerts. You know, Uncle Luke was out here, put on the cape for him, save him, and all of that good stuff. But yeah, man, Ross is, uh, he's clowning. There's no business going down. I guarantee you Curtis Jackson is not coming down there to do better. Anything could happen. Anything could. And if it does, I'll, I'll come on here and I'll, I'll tell you, I'll say I was wrong. I just don't see it. But uh, let me know what y'all think. Should they put uh, differences aside? And, and what kind of business should they do? I mean, what, what are you going to shoot a show or a movie in Ross's house? Like, I mean, uh, I don't know. What, what business do, do you want to see them do? You know, music is beyond that at this point. Neither one of them is doing that. And you know, I think there's not a high demand for either one of them musically at this point. Um, so we could get off that. I don't know what business ventures they would have, but I think Ross kind of messed himself up with that. If there was any time for them to squash that, it was years ago. 
I think at this point, it's just kind of like, just leave it alone, bro.